Things number two that I'm going to this trailer is installing a window on the door. I'm going to cut another hole in the trailer. Ta-da! Now we have another hole. So yeah, I'm going to clean all like rough cuts and I'm going to, to put the window in. Our window is installed in the door. The main problem that I ran into, the door thickness, uh, it's too small for the window thickness. So I had to, I had to build this little frame out of plywood. Unfortunately, I didn't have like half inch that I needed. So I got it three quarters and it was too big. So I had to use a table saw and take off like a quarter or so. So, but right now looks pretty neat. So now it has window, it opens. Ta-da! So now I'm uh, jumping towards the AC installation and cutting more holes in this beautiful trailer. All right. Um, our AC is supposed to go right here and we need to cut the 14 by 14 inches uh, square hole to install it. So my plan is to spread spread the weight of AC between these three beams. ta -da! Kind of need to figure out the way how to get up. Alright, it wasn't bad at all. All right, the last thing that we have left is to tie our mounting bolts and it should be pretty easy. After I install AC over here and tied everything, um, so it looks pretty legit. Um, I'm moving forward and installing the max fan right here. So max fan will be connected to the 12 volt system, uh, AC 110 volts. So when generator will not run or they will not have the short power hookup, but still be sleeping in the trailer. So max fan with a combination of cracked open window will work perfectly because it will circulate the air from over there to over here which is entire trailer so uh max fan it's gonna be easier to install than uh than ac because it's way lighter <laughs> Long time no see. So I cut the hole and reinforced my hole for my max fan installation. And now, see, I'm just like a dent on top of the trailer. It's not falling apart. Oh, pretty cool. Uh, Ta -da! It's ready. All right, today is, uh, is a fun day. Um, I'm going to wire everything today, or at least to run wires to all outlets locations, to the AC, to uh, ceiling lights, and to the fan. So it's going to be a fun part. But the good thing, what I found out today, after you will remove this trim, there is like a inch and a half gap so I can run my wires over there. So I'm so excited about that because before that I was kind of like a thinking so hard how I can run and make it nice. But now it should be not that hard. So yeah, let's rock and roll.
Hey, I'm back to the trailer to, and today I'm building the little compartment for my electric stuff. So at the bottom uh, it's gonna be 12 volt battery, 100 amp hours. It's gonna be more than enough to run uh, LED lights and max fan overnight and some of my like a chargers, fuse boxes, everything will be here and my AC panel will be up here. moving somewhere so I started doing my electric work because um, I need to know where I need to run my 12 volt accessory cables so my fuse box will be down there same with the battery battery charger and uh, uh, fuse disconnect um, so now I'm going to run the uh, cables for the ceiling lights uh, side lights and the ramp lights uh, and the fan so this is pretty much it what I'm doing right now let's rock and roll I'm sorry for the for the mess in here, but I just finished my 12 volt wiring and I connected the battery. So battery is not secured yet. I just like uh, put it in place because uh, I still need to figure out like a uh, ratchet strap. But all wiring, 12 volt wiring, which is include included uh, ceiling lights porch lights, ramp lights, and a max fan, and another cable, uh, another cable is gonna be USB charger. Uh, everything is connected right here in this block. Battery is connected, here's my fuse. And right now, before I'll start covering everything with insulation and sealing, I just wanna make sure everything is working. So I'm going to turn on the fuse and check all ceiling lights, if I got connections everywhere, and after that I'll just uh, start uh, finishing up. Yeah, let's turn the breaker on. Every ceiling light is working, I'm so happy. Um, I forgot to show you guys the switch because like it also has like a switch for the ceiling lights, porch lights and ramp lights, like three of those right here. And yeah, as you can see right now, like a switch is working. Another cool thing that fan is also working, so fan is connected right here. I just need to wait while my all my shelving that will cover the electrical system will dry and I'll put everything back together. But right now check the check the system. So it looks pretty neat. I'm happy how everything turned out. Uh, my buddy is 3D printing me custom mounts for the battery charger. Uh, right now I just use a hose clamps just to have it. Um, uh, here's the 3D printed uh, 3D printed mount for the battery charger. We'll go right here. Also going to install right now and hopefully today I will wrap up with uh, my electric for this trailer. Finger crossed. Let's start it. I didn't finish electric setup that day because it got so cold, I was moving so slow, but within the next couple days everything was done. Electric was pretty much the main reason why he decided uh, to build this trailer. So he wanted to have the shore hookup uh, for 30 amps. So here's like a shore hookup with the 30 amps connector. And right now it's connected to extension cord that goes to my shop. The generator will go um, behind this box. There is a little platform. And I also built a little extension cord that will be connected from generator to the 30 amp shore hookup. All right, 
Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the uh, extension cord that will go from generator to the, to the shore hookup. Um, another request was uh, to have the outdoor outlets. So I installed this um, outdoor outlets that rated for 20 amps. Uh, so he's planning to connect the tire warmers to this outlet, or we also have another outlet on the other side of the trailer, exactly the same, same setup. So inside on the ceiling, so I also like insulated ceiling with a one inch foam insulation and put this quarter inch ply painted to the same colors as the walls. And in the ceiling, we got the max fan with the, with the manual opening, a little less expensive than fancy automatic one and connected to the 12 volt system. Over here we got the AC, 110 volt AC, will work only when we have shore power or entire system will be connected to the generator. I'll show you in a second. And on this wall next to the door, we got three switches. One switch is for ceiling lights. We got some recessed ceiling lights, an entire camper, six of them. Another one is for the ramp lamp, ramp lights. And the third one is for the outside lights on this side. So yeah, as you can see right here, ramp light is working. And on this side, we got two side lights. In front of the trailer, in the nose, we got our electric panel. Um, so let's start from the top. At the top, we got a 112 volt AC panel with a 30 amps main breaker, equals to the same rating as we get in, uh, from the shore hookup. So we can flip it on. And right here we have four more breakers, one for the battery charger that will charge our 12 volt system, uh, one for the uh, inside outlets, one for outside outlets, and one for the AC. Yeah, we can flip everything on. And right now the entire 112 volt system is working. Let's move to the 12 volt a 12 volt system. So we go in down and we see the AC remote control and the USB uh, charging ports. We got like two 3.0 USBs and one type C connection and my phone is charging right now from the 12 volt system. Uh, we got the like one little shelf and another little shelf and behind this panel uh, our 12 volt system. Let's take a look at that. And this panel has like four bolts and I already unscrew them. And this is our 12 volt setup. So over here we have the, our short power coming in and it goes behind the panels up to the AC panel. And right there we got the 100 amp hours, 12 volt batteries. We got the main 30 amps disconnect. We got the fuse box uh, that uh, connected to our 12 volt appliances. And we got the 110 volts, uh, 10 amps uh, battery charger from the AC to DC. While power is connected, so let's test the uh, 110 volt AC. So let's grab a remote and turn on AC. AC has like a pretty cool LED display that uh, shows you a mode. Right now it's cooling and the t set temperature. So in a couple seconds it will switch to the actual temperature in the trailer. And yeah, I can feel the cold air. Only right now, during the editing process, I realized that I didn't record any conclusion about the electric setup, and I'm doing that right now. The cool thing to have uh, both 110 volt and 12 volt systems is uh, advantage that you can use the 12 volt while you're not connected to the shore power or generator, 
and use for that simple stuff like LED light so like a charge your phone or use a fan and the cool thing to have the short power hookup because when you're at the campground or short or track and you have the electric connection and you're paying it for why not to use it you just plug and play plug switch the breaker and have electricity 21st century so yeah this is my conclusion about the electric be electric.